And here we are, back in life as strange, about to enter Victoria's room. Here we go. So we're in Victoria's room, and again, I'm going to go around and... There's the pictures. Yes, I'm going to go around and be no Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. What about the clothes inside it? You don't pay for your tuition anyway, you're on a scholarship. Oh yeah. Those boots are made <laughs> for walking runways. Really, really fast until you take off. That is a taste. Wrong kind of runway. Mm. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. No it isn't, but it's a nice film. Oh, I get more of a feel of saying it because it's not what people would say vibe from that. Oh. Yes, we've got to think about the Vortex Club here, which is written by the chick the ladies, who's just yeah. complained about sexting. One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. <laughs> On the penis. Um, so the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic, then, that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult? Or is this just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organisations. We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Hmm. So yes, I think we're supposed to assume this is the, the motive for Victoria and it being mean to Juliet, if that's what we're assuming. Alright, I've got a missing Victoria person's poster. Victoria Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Uh, we've got a little leaflet here. That's the thing about Mark Jefferson's exhibit. And we've got a book. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Yes, but you also said you only came here to because he would be your teacher. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. I can't tell if it's supposed to look like Facebook or MySpace, or sort of both of them. Bookspace. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Yes, yeah, so she punked Juliet and Dana. Things people don't say. Oh, and yes, we can print that email off. Oh, that makes it completely unforgeable. <laughs> okay, if I did wear expensive jewellery, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting-edge tech. Is she going to get snoop, a 3D snoop, snoop, printer snoop, snoop, for snoop, her snoop. dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. They should call this series aloof, cold and soulless, kind of like Victoria. Maybe you shouldn't suck up to her then. Yes, because this is sounds a lot like envy, to be fair, which, you know, I can get if she's living the dream of a life. Yeah, envy isn't the only reason to dislike someone. Hmm. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there, unlike me. Yet somehow you got into an academy with a scholarship She's without got doing a classic what? Medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. That's never I a medium format Victoria. camera. It doesn't look that big. Whoa! I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Looks like it's a an art expo in Seattle. Mm. Speaking of selfies. 
Are there selfies? Yeah. Mess Should up? we mess them up or not? Are, are we being nice to her or nasty to her? It's a bit... Uh... Yeah. But then, like I said, this is about as a uh, sort of... Awkward as teenagers and viewing them as kids, I think, helps. So what does messing it up do, exactly? What what does... Me well, do it, and then we can Let's rewind it if you don't like the uh, result. Let's leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. It's the Seattle skyline. <laughs> but I could take a picture of it. Take a picture of it and then rewind time. Do you get to keep the picture? Yeah, yeah, you do get to keep the Because you keep items, you, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So could we rewind time to when we didn't print that out? And crazy craziness. There we go. Yes, it is actually there. Mm-hmm. Okay. We've got the email, though. We can leave. So we're not going to leave it in the sweary finger no. configuration. But yes, like I said, it's the problem I have with it sort of going, well, you're a, a, a character and you're going through this narrative except that choices that you make aren't fantastic and don't really suit your character. Juliet, read this. I printed it out myself so you know it's genuine. <laughs> of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. So, things are, problems are half of that. <laughs> you can go on, I'll, uh, I'll look around again. Be nosy. But well, it's mostly the whole, like, um, oh, I'm not going to ask you how you got like this, or where cheerleader. it's from, or question its genuineness. I'm just going to accept it, move along, show it to other people, <laughs> without even asking you if it's okay to show it to other people, or if you're worried you'll get into trouble. It's just like, what? Blackwell spirit, seriously. <laughs> yeah. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Good for her. Ooh, drama. There's that damn flash drive. We're gonna take the Must flash drive. Protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Yes. Why does Ooh, Gollum James talk like this? Up and running. I shouldn't look. Should we look at her Facebook wall? You can, you can look at anyone's Facebook wall. You just go to their Facebook wall. Yeah, I think it's doing a would we use their computer. Actually, I find it interesting that it does actually just like call Dana it Facebook. A million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And she has yes, two and a half thousand so subscribers wrong. and one thousand friends. Things I don't believe. Yeah. Also, we can apparently stick our flash drive in there. I would assume we'd want to go and do that on our computer. This is both sad and pathetic. Assuming it's in relation to the pregnancy test. It would be a cool sticker without the words. It's a Vortex Club Dana thing again. Dana really does look stressed about all this. Yeah, she seems really Dana's stressed. She's just reading a magazine, Seriously. yeah. Thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. What do you think? Oh, well, I would go for square if you ask what I would do in, in the situation. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Do we say he's nice, or we play it obtuse? Neither of those are realistic, so whichever. We'll say he's, he's nice. nice. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. 
Yeah, okay. I gotcha. He made you a playlist of films, Season you've never heard of. How creepy. No, I think she's getting at it. He likes you, and we're going, yeah, no, he likes me. That's what I'm taking from it. Right, can I go back in my room and copy these files? So would it be okay if, if like, she'd heard of the films? Oh, I've heard of these films, it's fine. But I haven't heard of these ones, so... I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. He would never be able to tell. Bet we can take this hard drive, flash drive. I keep saying hard drive. It's a flash drive or a memory stick. I don't know, it's not that flash. <laughs> and since that was the only thing we needed, we can actually just go and we can finally meet Warren in the parking lot. Next time. Next time. Okay. Well, we'll also find out what that text was from Warren, or is that an email? Who knows? 